London is kind of like this, another second home, like, so to speak. I've been there almost a month. It's been good. I've had a chance to work, do promo, you know, do a couple of tours, and then also go to a couple of clubs. And um, I'm really trying to just analyze what the DJ's doing and, and what, the, what the floor is doing, you know, because there might be a song that I missed or that I don't know about, you know, traveling like I do. I get to hear songs and sounds that I normally wouldn't hear if I was just in my home country. So I, I'm pretty keen on that. So has London been a good education? Have been good yeah, education especially with the reggae, especially with the reggae, and especially with the um, drum and bass and um, uh, this thing called garage. It's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> When Sony approached me and said that they wanted to put together 40 years worth of rap tunes, and I, I said to them, well, if you want my wish list, my wish list doesn't necessarily comprise of just the biggest selling hits. So if you guys are willing to take my suggestions from that perspective, um, let's do it. So then the, qu the quest began. So anything from Lucini to Eminem, from, from, from Busta to Dre. It was quite an adventure chasing to find out and see if we can clear that one and if we could clear that one. So it was months and months and months of lots of hard work. Nostalgia is massive at the moment. Why do you think that is? I don't know, that's a good question. I don't know why people want to go back. They don't want to be here, they want to go back. Um, I think for me, I, I guess I find that a little strange just because I'm more of a scientist and I'm more trying to push the envelope forward. But different strokes with different folks. I've heard you're quite particular about how you set up your instrument, your decks. What are you looking for when you do it? Because obviously it takes you some time. Okay, well, I'm, my sound check, you know, gets me in a lot of trouble, you know, especially with, uh, when I'm touring. When I'm performing, I don't want to look at the decks or the mixer. I just because I know where everything is. Whereas if it's some other strange piece of equipment, now I'm looking down at the equipment and I'm not looking at you. It's critically important that I'm constantly looking at you and making sure that you are okay. Am I pleasing you? It's extremely important.